It's impossible to pin down precisely when the U.S. first flipped over pinball. For most passionate pinball players, the year 1930 trips the lights and buzzers. That would push pinball past middle age and make it 60. CNN's Jeff Locke zeroes in on America's pinball capital, Chicago. <laughs> Remember the games. Remember the name. Gusher, High Diver, Skylab, Jolly Joker, Flipper Fair, Card Tricks. Welcome aboard. For 60 years, America has been standing, feet spread, eyes fixed, hands fast to the flippers of a pinball machine. Pinball has survived the onslaught of Fiorella LaGuardia, who banned them from New York City. They also were illegal in Los Angeles and Chicago from the 40s to the 70s. Roger Sharp testified at this 1976 New York City Council hearing that brought pinball back. But it is an American art form. It's something that we can take pride in as a nation saying, this is ours, totally and absolutely. Pinball, says Sharp, is like making love. It demands the complete concentration and total emotional involvement of the player. Nothing else will do. It's taking more money than I uh, want to really admit. Pinball also survived the onslaught of video games that shrank Pinball's share of arcade business to just 5% in 1983. It is now back up to 35%. We've seen the pinball really go up and some of the other games really stabilize. The younger kids are beginning to realize there is more pleasure in a pin game than there is in a video game. Steve Kordak designed that classic you see over his shoulder called Triple Action. Kordak is a pinball pioneer. I was the only one who had two flippers at the bottom of the game. They are almost approximately the same place where they have all been ever since. Chicago is America's pinball capital. The big four pinball makers are all here, led by the world's number one manufacturer, Williams Electronics. Williams' latest creation is Funhouse, which talks to you, has elevated ball ramps, chimes. It will be in the arcades worldwide by next week. I like to see a uh, moving silver ball. You know, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money, it's just a good way to do it, though. And has been now for 60 years. I'm Jeff Locke, CNN, in Chicago.